Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Stay Gone from Has Been Hotel on the Piano. Very epic and awesome tune, one of my personal favorites. Give you a preview before we start learning it. Let's begin. Let's get right into it okay it might seem very difficult but don't worry about it the left hand is like a particular uh jumping pattern that we learn at the end after you master all the block chords first i formed it from the block chords as well so make sure to learn the block chords first all right so here we go we'll break it up into a few parts it's easy to learn so uh, let's start with the right hand starting on the a up here the let's begin part which is middle c go up an octave c go up another octave c is the a just below that okay it's okay you can do it there so a down to e down to the lower a and then we go back up to the e a b c a e e f a e all right let's call this the first part okay here we go let's learn it again this goes a down to e down to octave below a and then up to e a b c a e e f a e Okay, left hand we have four chords here for the first part. The four chords are A minor, two of them, so A, C, E, so two of these A minor chords. Third chord is F7, which is a four note chord, F, A, C, E flat. And then the next chord is a very interesting chord. Uh, it's like a, a C, D, F, B. Okay, just remember as that, just remember the notes. Okay, yeah, here we go. So let's learn the four chords again. So two A minor chords, F7, and then C, D, F, B. Okay. With that in mind, two ends together goes like this. So melody and block chords goes like this. So together. Here, and the rhyme comes in. F and F7 together. And then together. Like that. Let's learn it again. So together. Here. Together. You can do it lower as well. You can do it like here, like that. All right. Anyway, it sounds weird like that, but at the end, when you do it like the rhythmic pattern that I'm going to teach you, it will sound good like that. But anyways, here we go. Once you learn that, move on to the second part. The second part, is just a very short part, just goes D, D sharp, E. Okay, just three notes for the right hands. D, D sharp, E. Okay. Left hand two chords: D minor, D F A, and then second chord is E major, E G sharp, B. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So it goes together, together, like that. So just together, together. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. All right, here we go. Now, moving on. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. That's what you learned it that way. So back to the same. Okay. Now moving on, the fourth part, uh, a bit different. Five notes because D, C, E down to G sharp, A. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again. D, C, E, G sharp, A. All right. Left hand, three chords finishing off. D minor, D, F, A, which you know. Second chord E major, which you know as well, E G sharp B, and just finish with the third chord as A minor, A C E. So with these three chords in mind, two and together goes like this: D and D minor together, E and E major together, A and A minor together. There you go. Let's learn it again. So it goes together, together, together. That's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. I think I made a mistake with one of the, the C, D, F, B chord. Okay, so just make sure to don't play that as a mistake. Just get your fingers on the chord wherever you are on the piano. 
okay? But anyways, once you master the melody and block chords, like without uh, making mistakes, okay? Okay, so once you can play a few times consistently correct, you can add the improvisations, okay? Or you can do what I did in the preview that I'm gonna teach you right now, okay? So for the chords, what you wanna do for the chords, you wanna play the root note as an octave. So for example, A minor, you play A as an octave down here, okay? And then you just do the A minor, like the original where it does the chord, like as a second inversion, which is E, A, C, and then you go down to the E as an octave and back up to that inversion like that. So it's like the... It's huge jumps, but it's very epic when you do it like that. So just practice that for the A minor ones. For all of the A minor chords, replace it with this pattern, okay? Okay? And then for the other chords, it's kind of the same concept. You play the root note and then F7. You just jump up to the F7 like that. And then you the C bass note and do the chord again like that. Yeah, and then D, same concept, jump up but just one time, then A minor one, you know, the one that they taught you, yeah, like that, and then F, jump, jump, D, jump, 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 like that, okay, once you understand the concept, it's not difficult at all, it's just based off the chords, okay, you can see the pattern there. So, uh, putting the turns together would require a little bit of hand independence, so make sure to master the melody and block chord version first. Make sure to get 100% before attempting to learn the left hand patterns and then putting the two hands together very slowly. So, together, together. Just do it slowly. There you go, very awesome, very epic tune. Awesome, awesome. Okay, hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other Has Been Hotel songs, just make sure to search up Has Been Hotel Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find all those other lessons to learn for yourself. As for now, if you want to check out the rest of my channel, I have many other tutorials, like just any pop song, any meme song you can think of. Just search up your favorite song name, followed by Amos Doll to check if I have those lessons to learn uh, for you to learn. Okay. But anyways, yeah, if you like my teaching method and style, if you want to learn more piano from me, you can check out my website linked in the description below. It's called bestpianomethod.com where you can check out my piano courses, books and services, and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to check it out. Link is in the description. It's bestpianomethod.com. As for now, enjoy time around my channel and see you all next time.